and good Wednesday evening time. Take a look here at your weather webcast video and a lot of stuff to talk about and the weather forecast coming up, especially as we head towards the beginning of the weekend. But even before we get to that, I want to talk about what's going on out there uh, tonight. We had all that heavy rain that moved by earlier this morning. All that shifted off towards the east. We have some rain and even a little line of thunderstorms that's going to be pushing on through here during the early evening hours here. Very isolated line. This is actually with the cold front itself. And then once this passes, I think we'll get into some of the dry air behind the cold front. But again, uh, as you can see, we'll continue to keep our eyes out on this line of storms here that's developing here and as it pushes on in here. But it'll be very brief and move on through, and then we should get into some more dry weather. But that's not end of the, uh, the, the precipitation moving across the area, that's for sure. Take a look at the rainfall totals today. Over an inch and a half in Lafayette, over an inch and about an inch and a half in Cahutta, so an inch and a half in Chatsworth, and a little over an inch and a half down there in Calhoun. So again, we got quite a bit of rain, another beneficial rain out there, and that helps with our surplus. We had a surplus before today of over five inches, so this kind of helps add to that. So basically, we got a surplus now of six inches of rainfall, which is just hard to believe that we're in a drought. Basically a year ago at this time, we were in a serious drought out there. All right, on the National Satellite Radar Composite, here's that system lifting on off towards these. This has been a very powerful system and has brought a surprise snow to uh, Dallas, Texas, around the Fort Worth area as well. Uh, earlier this morning, they received uh, surprise snow. Some of them had about an inch or two of snow on the ground. Then that moved on up towards Little Rock, and they're seeing some winter precipitation this evening. Now, this is going to lift on off towards the north and east and not affect us here but shows you that the pattern is very conducive in the south when we talk about an El Nino pattern of very quick weather changes and we get these storm systems that move across the south in the subtropical jet and as they do so if they you know interact with some cold air things turn interesting well here's our system lifting on off towards the north and east the cold air behind this next front here is going to move on through and so by Thursday evening but especially coming up on toward Friday the colder air will be moving on into the south and east now there's a disturbance. You can see it with some snow right now in North Dakota here that's stretching into Canada. This little disturbance is going to drop straight down to the south, drop into the four corner regions tonight, and then as we go throughout your Thursday, start to reorganize itself and develop so that by Thursday evening we got some snow and ice in uh, areas around New, uh, New Mexico and moving into northwest Texas here. And by Friday morning, this starts to spread out. And by Friday afternoon and Friday evening, there could be a stripe of snow moving through uh, Texas. And uh, also as far south as maybe Houston could get in on some of the action, believe it or not. So uh, some very interesting changes. Now, after that low pressure moves off towards the east in Texas, it's going to move into the Gulf of Mexico where we'll have a new surface low that will develop. And as it does so, we had a, the models yesterday were keying in on two tracks. Now, the majority of the models yesterday were showing this thing tracking more towards the south, which would keep most of the moisture to our south, and we may squeeze out a few flurries, maybe a few snow showers. Well, this evening, all the computer models are trying now to bring this thing back on this more northerly track, which would throw back more moisture into the colder air. Still wouldn't like it's going to be a major storm, but it's showing that uh, there could be a little stripe of uh, slight snow that could form and fall in some areas. Now, talking about accumulations, we won't even go there yet, but some things that we got to watch coming up as we head towards your Saturday. The new storm system that will form into the Gulf of Mexico, then we have to watch its exact track because that will determine how much moisture gets thrown back to the north, and if we get any moisture in the area, could be uh, anything from just some flurries to maybe even uh, some actual snow coming down. And if we do get the a more uh, heavier moisture into the area, we could see some light accumulations, especially in the higher elevations. I won't talk specifics or anything like that right now, but again, just something to keep our eyes out on. Some of the things they're going to be watching for Friday night into Saturday where we could see a few snowflakes. Now, for the Christmas parade tomorrow night, looks like the weather's going to cooperate. Mainly just cloudy skies. Temperatures will be falling through the 40s. Uh, but overall, not a bad night. It'll feel kind of like uh, Christmas out there with some cooler air out there. But overall, not a bad forecast. Now, here's your seven-day forecast. And again, we have a kind, of a kind of a cool or cold day on Thursday, but... Much colder on Friday with some strong northwesterly winds and highs only in the mid-40s on Friday. And then especially as we head towards daybreak on Saturday morning and for a period on, during the first half of Saturday, computer models are showing that we could see some snowflakes falling in the area coming up on Saturday. Uh, but we'll continue to monitor that and update that forecast there. It could be some flurries or it could be uh, some actual real snowflakes. So we'll see how that works out. And then heading into next week, we start to see temperatures moderate a little bit as temperatures may try to warm up into the mid-50s. That's a look at your weather webcast video for you on your Wednesday evening. We'll try to have the next one on for you on Thursday, and we'll continue to follow what's going on with the latest on that forecast coming up for Saturday. Have a great evening.